Waking up to a world where you don't have to catch the bus to reach your workplace, where your meals are ready made, and your chores can be performed at just clicking on a button is not so far ahead from now. In fact, it's just a few decades before which the face of the earth is going to look completely different from what it is today. In the previous part of this video, we showed you what the world would look like in 2050. But in this video, we shall be taking an in-depth look into how we'll be able to attain such a future and what benefits would come along with living in such a world. First up, let's talk about the robots and personal assistants that'll be having by the year 2050. They would be making our lives easier but would simultaneously be taking away our jobs too. So keeping a balance in how autonomy takes over our world is important before unemployment hits an all-time low breaking out riots and wars leading to the extinction of our species. The majority of these jobs that will be taken by robots will not require a large amount of emotional intelligence required, which is perfect for them, especially during the initial stages of their adaptation to the system. This will benefit our world in plenty as these tasks will be done faster and humans can spend their time performing other complex tasks, which probably require emotional intelligence. The brain will be the new smartphone as we will be wired to perform everything a smartphone does, but just with a single chip that will be embedded in our brains. Neural spikes and signals will be the driving force to help us make decisions as well as perform our routines faster and with greater ease. Neuralink is advancing at quite a fast rate in this area and are soon shifting to experimenting on humans too. The brain chips will be a piece of elite equipment that everyone would wish to have but so will quantum computers. Quantum computers have the potential of solving problems that no brain or any regular computer can solve. By 2050, the kind of problems as well as the number of problems in the world would have increased drastically due to the technological makeover that the world would have undergone by then. The speed of their functionality will be insanely fast, and the functions that they hold will be able to perform complicated calculations that will be used to develop robots, work on improving megacities and even improve the transportation industry. Nanotechnology, on the other hand, will be a total game changer to all industries across the world. The medical industry will benefit from it immensely as this technology will help them gather information about patients faster, help in better and faster detection of ailments, and would also help doctors provide personalized treatment to the patients. Nanotechnology will further be used to partner up with sensors. They will be made to work with nanomaterials using different manufacturing techniques that are highly complex, smaller, and heavily energy efficient. Nanotechnology also helps aid in creating self-healing structures. These would be highly beneficial in closing up fractures and cracks, right from microelectronics to aircrafts. Data processing and ultra-dense memory are features that will be very beneficial to the future, and this is something that nanotechnology will make a reality. Now, the transportation industry is a huge part of the present and will be an even bigger part of our future in 2050. Tesla has already come out with a set of autonomous cars that run on autopilot the full self-driving feature. Plans of having electric roads are also underway. The Swedish Transport Administration is known for its electrified road project, and soon this will become the new norm all over the world as well. Apart from traveling on Earth sustainably, traveling to space is also under work. SpaceX and their constant rocket launches have many plans to go to the moon, Mars, and even other planets too. The Mars mission is already in the works, and it's only a few years before the first human will be found living on Mars. Capsule-like homes will be set up there where the humans will be living. Professionals such as doctors, scientists, and engineers will be some of the first people to go live on Mars. They will perform intense studies and research on how to make the planet a livable one. Furthermore, people will be traveling to space to stay in space hotels and gain the full space experience. Orbital Assembly Corporation is one such entity that's working on making a ring-shaped space hotel. SpaceX's Starship would be in charge of transporting passengers between Earth and Mars or the Moon. Now on to the living and accommodation aspect, megacities and mega projects will be started up in all countries across the Earth. As the population will grow exponentially, the amount of space left on Earth to occupy humans will run out. Thus, housing them in structures where space is used efficiently will be constructed. Sustainable architecture is the future of the housing industry and structures will be taller and bigger than ever imagined. Shopping centers, clinics and other essentials will all be present in close proximity to the housing of residents so as to avoid overcrowding and the need to arise for them to go long distances to get their basic needs sorted out. And even if the necessities are far away, the presence of well-developed drones and flying taxis would help solve this shortcoming. Drones will no longer only be used by the military but would be used by all the businesses found in the city 
as long as they hold the license to own and use one. Drones will be commercialized in large scale as compared to their current usage and their sizes, and design will also change in time to meet the various needs that they would be created for. The way we consume food and what we consume will also change on a large level. GMOs are currently being sold all over the world, and this is just the stepping stone to a world where everything will be produced in labs. Biochemists and other professionals may have to even artificially produce our fruits and vegetables in another few years, as growing them in the current climatic conditions cannot go on for much longer. A pill-based diet will become the new normal. These pills will contain all the nutrients, vitamins, and other important constituents to keep the human body energized and healthy. People already consume calcium, various vitamins, and other important constituents that our body needs in the form of tablets. This pill-based diet will be a step further. Increased lifespans and aging are also will no longer be the same as they are now, all thanks to the technological advancements in the field of medicine. The world of cryonics is a very developing industry as of now that will play a significant role in both aging as well as the resurrection of dead individuals. Cloning of animals has already been done so far, and in the future, cloning will be normalized to prevent animals from going extinct, increase the poultry population, or simply to create more service animals that will be needed in plenty even in the future. Sustainable energy will be used by everyone. Countries such as Brazil have moved to using ethanol to power their vehicles, due to which they have a 40% lower usage of petrol. They have been able to do this with the help of their booming sugarcane industry, all thanks to the Amazon forest that's present in their geographical area. But they can't provide enough ethanol for the world to function on it, and hence, the only option for the rest of the world is to shift to another alternative. Though different types of batteries are being produced currently to meet the energy demands, people will incline heavily towards solar energy as well as ocean thermal energy by 2050. The Earth has plenty of water bodies all across its surface, making it highly reasonable and logical to make wise use of it to obtain energy. This will become a reality soon, all thanks to OTAC technology, which is the abbreviated form of ocean thermal energy conversion. The technology functions on the concept of generating energy based on the differences in temperature of the water, which varies at various depths. This technology is expected to be widely used around the tropical waters near the equator. Additionally, solar energy is free and available for the majority of the day. Thus, this too poses a great energy alternative for the future. It has been predicted that by the year 2050, 1600 gigawatts can be produced on a zero carbon grid. This will indeed be such a game changer as the amount of electricity it produces would be much more than the demand for commercial and residential structures present in the respective geographic area. It's not long before which both our houses and other infrastructure across the city runs on energy produced by these sources of energy. Now you've had a glimpse into what life in 2050 would be like. Guess we'll have to wait till 2050 to see if the predictions are apt or not. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and we can't wait to have you back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!